Hello, my name is Sergio Ortiz. A lot of you might know me, or at least some of you. Um, this is just a silly, uh, random attempt at singing one of my favorite um, songs of all times that has recently become so. And the name of the song is called The Irish Were Egyptians Long Ago. Um, the song came out in the 1920s. I don't really know who composed it or how it really came about. But, you know, the song is just a silly, entertaining um, Irish based song and for those of you that might have seen the movie The Cardinal uh, which came out in 1963 and which I highly recommend uh, it's a very Catholic family based movie um, it's actually about a priest called Father Stephen Fermoil and all the dilemmas and everything and standing for the truth and everything that he has to do as a priest so it, you know it's a really great movie but in one of the scenes of the, of the movie um, his brother, who's a pianist, Frank Fermoil, uh, you know, he's playing in the piano and, and he, you know, he's singing the song. Uh, so this is my attempt at re-singing and reenacting uh, this great song. I've studied things Egyptic, those writings weird and cryptic, upon the tombs that dot Sahara's lands. I've solved all strange inscriptions, left by each wise Egyptian, and hold the mystic secret in my hands. The Irish must have been Egyptians long ago. Just read between the lines and you will know. It must have been the Irish who built the pyramids, for no one but an Irish man would carry up the bricks. It must have been a Doyle who dug the River Nile, for no one but an Irish man would fight the crocodiles. I think all these mix were Turks, Mohammedans, and Greeks. For even till today they speak of Irish Turkey. Cleopatra was once a calling who came from Chimera. She lost her nationality while roaming in Sahara. And all the hooligans and all the dooligans must have been Egyptians long ago. Now every hooligan once drove a caravan. And I'll say the same for every Mac and o. When Moses went to Egypt and saw those Irish faces, he took the name O'Callaghan and changed it to Oasis. And so all the hooligans and all the dooligans must have been Egyptians long ago.